Labor Day is the symbolic into summer and it also signals the close of the summer movie season. So how did it all end? Well, attendance significantly down, but the studios made blockbuster bucks helped by higher 3D movie ticket prices. Raphael Seth has the story. Remember way back in May when Iron Man 2 kicked off the summer movie season with a bang? Oh, it's good to be back. That opening weekend's take at the box office was among the best ever, but then... What am I wearing? Bikini. McGruby don't play like homie. The movies themselves, with some exception, just were not exciting to the average moviegoer. Which made for an interesting plot twist in Tinseltown. Attendance fell to its lowest levels in over a decade, but summer 2010 U.S. box office revenue set a record high of $4.35 billion. There are higher ticket prices across the board, and that higher ticket price pumped up the revenues, but it certainly didn't help attendance. Hollywood.com's Paul DeGarabedian says more expensive 3D movie tickets contributed to that bottom line, but warned against overuse of the technology. If you try to throw it at every movie as a way to just increase revenue, it's not going to work and it's going to kill that golden goose. So who laid the golden eggs this summer? Yeah! Toy Story 3, just an absolute winner. Inception brought brains back to the summer box office. You also had Twilight Eclipse, which did extremely well. And who just laid an egg? Prince of Persia, I think, would be in that category. I think Cats and Dogs was another one. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Family fair like Despicable Me and Karate Kid held down five of the top ten money spots. Family movies were the ones that, that played the best because that audience is built in. Families always need something to see in the summer. So what will studios offer next summer to lure moviegoers back? I think we're going to see more sequels. I think we're going to see a lot of comic book movies. A Hollywood formula movie makers hope will work both on screen and at the box office in 2011. Raphael Seth, NBC News. Shrek Forever After was something of a disappointment with only $212 million in earnings, but it was still far better than many other big-budget movies that were dead on arrival at the box office.